Let me talk about what we're about to go do. So today we are going to a place that I've been wanting to go to for so long. We are going to the New River and we are looking for some big smallmouth guys. We're gonna be kayak fishing today. We also have the boat hooked up to the truck so we might we might launch that boat in the water tomorrow and try to get on some musky and some smallmouth. We've been dreaming about doing this. At least I've been dreaming about doing this. I don't know about you, Josh. <laughs> but I've been dreaming about making this trip now for a while, so stay tuned. All right, you guys. All right, you guys. Well, we are here. We're really excited. We're launching the kayaks. I'm with Josh right now. And we are so excited because this is something we don't get to do very often. There's some very big smallmouth in the New River. This river is known for some amazing fishing stories. And we are going to see if we can create some of our own. Isn't that right, Joshua? That's right. That's right. So, yeah, we're getting on the water. I bet you they're like schooled up out there in the deep. That's not bad, man. It's... There. They gonna be fishing a whopper plopper for ship. Well, there. That's a good one. That's a good one, y'all. I got a good one on, y'all. I got a big one on. That's a big boy. How big is that? That's not a giant, but it's like probably, oh, that's a big one. Josh, 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 I can't believe it, Josh. Come here, come here, come here. Dude, oh my gosh, that, my friends, that is what we are in the new river for. That is why we came to West Virginia, oh my gosh dude okay you guys we got to get some really good shots of that guy look at that small mouth dude that is one of the most beautiful small mouth that is the second biggest small mouth i've ever caught before god he is so beautiful y'all that is why this is why we came up here i told you if i got one that was two pounds i'd be happy and i would i would say he's two pounds yeah let's, let's get a weight on him dude that's that's crazy came out here knowing this a big small mouth and this isn't a big one by any means but for North Carolina standards, back where we live, I would call this a big one. We're in West Virginia, but nonetheless, that is what we are out here for. Yes, I'm so pumped. We're gonna get some more, hopefully bigger than that too. Look at the colors on that, they call them bronze backs. Look at that bronze back. Look at the colors. Look how pretty these fish are, man. Get some close up, like really close, cool shots. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. This is it, you guys. Oh, I bet, I bet that was cool. My uh, big one in, big one on in the Watauga was a net rig. Yep. You. Look at the color. It's a gorgeous smallmouth bass right here. We're looking for one, what do you say, like five times that size, if not. Definitely. Bigger. Awesome. All right, my boy, get back in the water. See ya. Woo. In this section, yes. But in this section, there we go. There we go. Fish on. Little guy. Little guy. It's a smallmouth, though. Yes. We're cooking, my boy. Look at that. Not a big one at all. Definitely a very small, smallmouth bass. But nonetheless, it is gorgeous. All right, see ya. Go. There he is. Big one, dude. Good one. That's a big one. It's a nice one, though. It's not a giant, but it'll definitely be like a pound. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at them in the water. Dude, this might be the biggest one of the day. Look at that. They put up such a good fight, dude. Look how pretty he looks in the water too. Oh, that's so sick. Let's get him up here. Oh, I thought you had a fish. Nice hook set though. All right, it's not very big, but we'll take him. That's awesome. They're just so pretty in here. Look at the colors. Let's get him back in there. See ya. All right, everybody. We have gotten off the water, as you can tell. You might be wondering why we're off the water so early. The answer is we're going to a different boat ramp. Uh, we caught a lot of fish, but after a while, the bite started to kind of die down. So we're gonna go down to another spot, either up or downstream, not really sure yet, and see if we can find another good place to launch the kayaks in. And also scope out some spots for tomorrow where we're gonna be launching 
when we're gonna be launching the boat. The day is not done. That's correct. The day is not done. And it won't be done until we have caught that that uh, world record muscle lunch. Yep. Or something along those lines. <laughs> 10 seconds later. This is pretty. I think we found a good spot to throw these musky baits around here. Less current, bridge. Bridges are always good. <laughs> what are you using? Whopper plopper? God, I just want to see a giant musky like smack this thing. I gotta cover a lot of water with the same, make sure it's always, always out there. And if something wants it, it'll hit it. All right, long casts. There's not much else to say other than we are having a fun time, but we are not catching any fish at the moment. We are on this really wide, really deep stretch of river with a very little current. And we're on the kayaks. Luckily we have these kayaks that we can stand in so it makes things a lot easier when it comes to casting. But we're gonna continue to work our way up. I'm fishing a big whopper plopper. Josh is fishing a crank favorite with some smallmouth. And we're gonna see what we can do. I really hope we get something. And we'll keep you guys updated. Morning, everybody. It is the next day and we woke up to a massive rainstorm. It's gonna be raining today for the majority of the day. Um, right now it's like seven o'clock and it looks like it's probably gonna clear up a little bit around nine or 10. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit in the car for a little bit, maybe take a little nap um, and then wait for the rain to stop. Hey. So we just made some breakfast. We are looking at fishing a lake today. We're not gonna be fishing the river. We're fishing a lake that the new river ends, ends up turning into, which is, um, where we're camping. So we're gonna be launching the boat in the lake here pretty soon. Trying to catch some smallmouth and some largemouth. We have found a lake that I believe fishing dreams are made of, you guys. Little backstory, we found a campground on this random lake that basically is part of the new river and it's gorgeous. It's got rock structure, it's got docks, it's crystal clear. It's in the mountains, it's got smallies, spots, and largemouth. I've never fished a place like this before. Watch you guys. This is probably not deep enough diving, but. No, it's one of the deepest lakes I've ever fished. The deepest place that we're seeing on the on the map is like a hundred feet. So this is a very insanely deep lake. The water is crystal clear. And we're fishing this cove here with docks. We're gonna be fishing shallow for the most part. Look at that clarity, dude. Look at that clarity. That is just nuts. Spawner largemouth. All right, guys, whopper plopper, first fish of the day on Opa. Oh, man, well, uh, that was a fish on the whopper plopper, y'all. I think that was probably either a little spot or a largemouth. He had the stripe down the side. First one, first one hooked, first one lost. He smacked that thing, though. He's got followers. He's got people following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Look, no, get him in. Flip him, flip him, flip him, flip him, flip him. Flip him. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just a largemouth. Dude, dude, dude. I saw the followers. Did you see that? Followers, they were following it, dude. That was a big one. Oh my gosh. Dude. Hey, Josh caught his first fish of the day. Oh, nice one, man. Take it. First one on the lake. Watch him back. Good boy. Bye bye. Not quite on the Oh, okay. Nice. Lake Clater, it's been fun. We're not done. We caught one fish. It didn't weigh a ton, but hey. <laughs> yeah, so Josh caught a one pounder. Uh, we've been flipping these dogs for a long time. We're going to come back out here soon, but right now we got to go. Get something to eat because we are absolutely starving so we're going to get some lunch and then we're going to come right back out here and we're just going to keep grinding this is a good lake i think i just think we got to figure these fish out get on a pattern isn't that right smallmouth bass and the elusive musculunge the elusive musculunge yep. you heard him you heard the man it's going to be a day what is up y'all what is up y'all we are back except today now we are not on the lake anymore we are on the dam side of the river on the other side of the lake on the new river and we're gonna try to catch some more smallmouth and maybe some musky small on the on the net rig there we go another one another small on gas not an absolute toad but it's a healthy fish Woo. hey oh. there we go my first smallmouth of the day my first fish of the day yeah it's not a giant but he's a little guy i think get him back in there see you later pal Send the big ones to bite. Nice smallmouth, dude. 
On the jerk bait. On the jerk bait. Get him in. There you go. That's there you go. Let's go. Josh just caught his biggest smallmouth ever. That is his biggest one of the trip and biggest one of his life. That's Look. Good. That's a good fish. Let's get him back in there. Toss him back. See you, pal. Small. What is going on? Why are we catching these like look hold hold that thing up, bro? Like a three inch smallmouth on a three inch cranker. There he is, there he is. Smallmouth, smallmouth all again on the drop shot. Look at that. Yeet. Another one. It's really fun. They fight really, really pretty fish. Get him back. Get the net. Nice smolly guys. Nice smolly. Nice smolly on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Look. Smallmouth, giant smallmouth, giant smallmouth, giant. It's a giant. I'm putting the phone down, Nolan. It's a, it's a giant. It's a giant. Oh my god. Oh, it's a giant. Oh, walleye. Walleye. Let him. Let him. Let him. Let him. Let him. Let him. Get him. Get him. Oh! Let's go. Oh. oh my gosh, you guys. I don't even know what to say. I just caught my first ever walleye on a on a drop shot. This is probably the. <laughs> it's the biggest walleye I've ever thought I would ever catch. I mean, this is a very good sized walleye, right under the bridge. I thought it was a smallmouth. Look at that thing. Jeez, look at the teeth on him too. So I got a, I got a look at it and I was like, giant smallmouth. Looks like a smallmouth. Got a better look at it. I was like, no, that's, that is a that is a walleye. First ever walleye. Look at that. Look at that walleye. Look at that walleye. Woo! Let's get the release. What? <laughs> you guys, my, my GoPro literally just died, but I just caught this smallmouth on the drop shot. Look at that fish. Look at the colors on that fish. That is such a pretty fish. We're gonna get him released, get him nice and healthy. That is just such a beautiful fish, you guys. That is my, probably my second or third biggest smallmouth ever. And he's probably gonna go just over two, maybe two and a half pound fish. I mean, we're fishing up under this like massive bridge, um, one of the deeper sections of the New River. And the smallmouth here are not small. Whew, look at that fish. I, I have no words, I literally have no words. That is un unreal, absolutely unbelievable. I mean, this is exactly why you drive three and a half hours up to Virginia to catch these guys. So pretty. All right. I've always wanted to have the opportunity to chase after a big smallmouth. We've done it in the Watauga River before, and today we are doing it in the New River. This is such a special place. It's got some big smallmouth. It's got musky. It's got. We just caught a, my first ever walleye. It has been a phenomenal trip, and I appreciate you guys tuning in. So stoked. Let's, let's get close up. Release. Oh yeah. The new river has been good to us. It's been kind of a grind out here. We've caught a lot of smallmouth. We probably caught a couple that were a pound or so. And that beautiful walleye at the end of the day. We tried to catch some muskie, but obviously the muskie is the fish of is it a million casts? <laughs> the fish is 10,000 casts. It's not an easy fish to catch, so we'll come back out here for that another day and try to catch a muskie. It was a good trip. We are going to call it a day now and head out. Yeah, it's such a good day, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And we're going to uh, definitely be back for sure. Just like that, that is going to end the New River trip, you guys. It was one of the most amazing fishing trips that I've ever been on. Undoubtedly, I can say that I had an amazing time, and so did Josh. It was great to be able to go up there and experience something a little bit different. You know, we're, su we're super, super big into largemouth bass fishing here in North Carolina. And every now and then it's good to get up to a new location, fish for some new fish and experience a new beautiful body of water. I really, really appreciate everybody who watched this video. Thank you so, so much because we really enjoyed making it and just being able to catch a lot of smallmouth bass was honestly the goal. You know, I know we were trying to catch muskie too, but they call the muskie the fish of 10,000 cast men and it's not an easy fish to catch at all. So. Um, in no way am I disappointed that we didn't catch a muskie. We'll definitely go back up there again and probably specifically target some big muskie. But it was amazing to catch some smallmouth. Big thanks to Josh for coming with me. I couldn't have done this without him. And um, I look forward to going back to the New River sometime in the near future. So with all of that being said, thank you again for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more like this. And uh, drop a comment down below. Hit the like button as well. And we will see you on the next adventure.